Hello, friend. I sort of stumbled into something that I thought was fun. So combining things that we talked about on the first stream, which was using CSS logical properties. So instead of, for example, width, you'd use inline size. And instead of height, you'd use block size. Doing that enables you to change the writing mode on an element to make it, for example, be vertical. So <laughs> just for the fun of it, what happens if we do that to the Morse code text wrapper? So remember, this is implemented using spans, thanks to the way that Anton coded it. And so because of that, these are inline elements. So, boom, they rotate. Well, that looks really neat. Now, here's the really funny part. So uh, let's go to the individual dots, and then we will re-trigger the animation. This looks like something to me.